I think it all starts even before you get out on the court. You know, what you do to get yourself mentally prepared for the match, for you know, to get yourself in the right state of mind where you are, you know, calm, composed, serene enough, but yet you have the right intensity and the drive and motivation to, to play well and, and, and be dynamic and fast on the courts. Well, I can only speak on my own behalf. Obviously, we spoke about uh, power of, you know, visualization and, and, and preparing yourself for possible scenarios. And I obviously try to play the match in my mind before I go on, on the court. Uh, and I, you know, always try to imagine myself as a winner. And I think there is a power to that. And um, but also there, there has to be next to the willpower, uh, you know, uh, strength that comes not just from your physical self but from your your mental and emotional self and and it's i i think it's well for, for me at least it's a constant battle within you know more than uh than than what happens outside uh it's it's really not the situations that you um experience that are affecting you but how you internally experience those situations how you accept them how you live through them so you know, I, I just told myself before the match, I'm, I'm, you know, gonna try to switch off as much as I can from what is happening around us, and and just be, be there, be present. Um, and you know, there's not a specific formula to find the courage. I mean, at least in, from from my perspective, you, you know, you can go all out and just. You know, cl close your eyes and just hit the best ball as hard as you can, and then you can call that courage. But I, I, you know, I wouldn't necessarily call it courage in in some particular situation. So, you need to be consistently, uh, sorry, constantly playing well throughout five hours if you want to win a match like this. So, you know, uh, I guess there is an endurance part, and and but you know, I think there's always this self belief and and and. You have to keep reminding yourself that that you are there for a reason and that you are better than the other guy. And as as hard as the moment you know is that you are in, you know the more you have to remind yourself, the more you have to talk to yourself. I mean that's you know that's at least in, in my case. I wanted to talk to you about uh, clutch moments. When you're in those situations, how do you avoid distractions? Uh, consciously breathing first, that's, that's probably the, the simplest thing that you could do, but probably the most effective. I think the experience of being in this particular situation so many times before in my career helps me every next time that I have to face the adversity and face the distractions and, you know, my thoughts and what ifs and fears and, and so forth. I think everyone goes through that thought process. It's just, um, and, and I don't think it's particularly bad. I was thinking it's, it's bad, so I was trying to um, ignore it or I was trying to shut it down. But I think the major transformation in a positive way for me started when I was starting to acknowledge it and, and, and accept it as, as part of me. It's, it's, it's there, my ego is there, my fears are there, everything is there, it's present. but then how will I address it in a way that is going to help me to overcome that, to transform it into positive fuel that is going to help me overcome the clutch moments that you talked about, um, just feel happy and joyful and present on the court and get the best out of that experience. How, how do you do it? Well, I, I, I practice a lot of mindfulness. Um, so, you know, meditation, you know, journaling, talking with my team, with my parents, with my wife, with, with everybody who is around me, trying to address certain, um, with my, of course, uh, life coaches that I have, uh, spiritual guides and, that I have as well that help me um, address certain emotional, you know, uh, issues or traumas or whatever it is that, that, that uh, tend to appear on the court, so when it appears on a break point, when I'm facing a match point or break point or, you know, clutch moments, uh, they do tend to surface. But they are they uh, I I, ma I manage to 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 gain the control over them much quicker, and I manage to 
to impose my positive affirmation and positive feeling. Uh, or if that doesn't happen, then I just try to be uh, conscious that I have to accept that moment that that's going to happen. But I focus on my breathing and I focus on being in the moment and, and what needs to be done next moment, which is playing the right shot, positioning myself well on the court and just focusing on executing the point right. It just takes uh, years of uh, devoted practice mentally, not just physically. Uh, and you have to do it. You can't expect others to really um, fix your emotional or mental issues. They can um, encourage you and they can empower you um, and they can understand you and they can give you tools, but you have to use those tools and do it the right way. That in those moments of when you're facing adversity and when you're challenged, um, you should always look inside because that's where the answer lies. I did not understand that fully. I heard that before, but I think when I went through this journey, I understood really what that, what that means. And now I know where I can always find strength um, and belief and motivation to, to get me going. Thank you very much for this wonderful evening. Thank you very much, Maurice. I appreciate it.